All right, today we're going to check to see if a rotor is bad. Now, there's a couple ways to go about it. You're going to want to measure thickness. So you're going to come in here and you're going to check the thickness and you're going to go around the rotor in a couple spots and you want to go radially in, in and out because you're going to have different wear patterns. You might even have grooves. So you want to make sure you got enough material there to turn the rotor. Now the other thing, a lot of times you'll get, you know, brake shutter when you hit your brakes and that's going to be a lot of run out, whether it's from thickness changes or just this rotor getting a little too hot and starts to get a little bit of warpage. So you can put a dial indicator on. You're going to get a little fixture stand, mount it to suspension component or whatever, and you're going to move your, spin your rotor, and you're going to watch that gauge. So a couple of thousands, whether it's on the uh, dial indicator or on the mic, is really going to be felt in that pedal. It's time to either turn that rotor or replace it. Now, if you don't have enough material to turn it, you can throw a brand new one on like this. This is a Raybestos Premium. It's their R300 series. It's a non-directional slotted S-grooves. Now, these are kind of neat feature because anytime you apply your brakes, instantly you've got all that energy from your vehicle being transmitted as heat. So you got a lot of heat buildup very rapidly. So any gases between those two surfaces are going to try to expand. They're going to try to keep these two components separated. So you're going to get fade, you're going to get poor brake feel. And so these little grooves here let the gas escape. It gives it a place to go and it's good for NVH. You don't have an abrupt sort of impact from a slot going in a you know, sort of vertical or radial direction here. So neat feature, one of the things you want to do too, make sure you check that there's no dirt or debris between your rotor and your hub. So clean that off because that'll cause your rotor to go on a little bit crooked and wash it. Don't use brake clean, use soap and water. Everybody's got it at home. It won't leave a residue. It's the perfect surface for your brand new pad to get you down breaking down the road.